This is not the misinformation that you're looking for. Obviously. Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Of course, you know, every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Central Time, the Talk To Me America show where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Now live streaming on Odyssey, Rumble, and YouTube. Please support the channel by subscribing, sharing, commenting, liking, firing, and of course, a donation would be the ultimate. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Okay, so I found this article on Twitter. Some folks are saying that this is a very a spoof site or a parody site, but I don't see anything that explains that anywhere. The only thing that may make it a parody site is the fact that most of the articles have no bylines. But parody or not, someone had to come up with this. This, this absolute dribble. And it has kind of gone viral, even being shared on Reddit. Coming from a place called IQFY. The FY is very, very small. I have no idea. This seems like it might be some kind of a blog. It actually seems like it might have have a, a team of people writing for it, but you never can tell. It goes to relationships, culture, travel, home, wellness, parenting, history, business, beauty, and voices. The only thing I actually had a chance to look at really is the wellness part. And that's because this this article and then another one that's actually referenced also in this article. But can you imagine the nerve? Like I say, despite the fact that this is a parody site or not, someone had to come up with this shit. They knew, colon, why didn't the unvaccinated do more to warn us? Now, just the title alone on this warrants all kinds of answers and I'm pretty sure that if you follow me you have quite a few answers to this particular question yourself to the point of possibly and even losing relatives that are still alive because you refuse to go along with the entire mob crowd and we're finding out that there's more and more people that not only kept it a secret that they didn't do this but they're also many many now that are regretting it watching what's going on so we'll we'll read on the unvaccinated knew what we didn't some of them said too little most of them said nothing at all a lot of blood is now on their hands well all i can say is we weren't scientists we were going by the fact that we probably followed uh, George Carlin at one time or another in our lives, he was actually one of the ones, even though he was saying this in jest, which I don't believe he was, uh, never trust the government. If the government tells you something, it's usually the opposite. So, uh, and again, the absolute nerve to come up with something like this. You know, we begged you not to do this. A lot of us begged you not to do this. And most of us either got censored or told, no, you have to do it, follow the science. Or they got coerced into it either by some kind of cancellation, either job or anything like that. Uh, some kind of livelihood, even families. Like I say, I've actually almost pretty much lost a family member or two due to the fact that I refuse to do this. Eh, okay, I don't want to be around you. That's fine. I won't, I promise I won't make you sick, even though you are vaccinated and that's what's supposed to happen when you get vaccinated. Never could understand that. As the world struggles to come to terms with the devastating effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, one question that continues to surface is why the unvaccinated didn't do more to warn us about the potential dangers of being injected. 
first of all, if they weren't your doctor, okay, should I say more? While well-intending citizens lined up, did the right thing and received their COVID-19 vaccinations, you call following the mob and following uh, the uh, majority the right thing to do, including the fact that not only did you do the lineups and all that, but you made sure to point fingers at the other ones. That sounds to me like you didn't listen to anybody that was unvaccinated. You just called them names and told them that uh, they weren't worthy of any kind of livelihood after that. While well-intended citizens lined up, did the right thing and received their COVID-19 vaccinations, now seeming to do more harm than good, hindsight is 2020, right? Their unvaccinated friends stood by and let them do it. Some of them said too little. Some said nothing at all. Yeah, after having being pointed out like that and shunned and let's see, I believe um, Howard Stern had something to say about it and I'm pretty sure that uh, even Dr. Wen, she was in charge of a lot of this stuff at the time, said something about making life harder for people that decide not to get the vaccination. Now, if it was up to me, anyone unvaccinated would not be admitted to a hospital. It needs to be hard for people to remain unvaccinated. No matter what the reason. No exemptions. I'm, that's pretty sus, in my opinion, as they're saying these days. Even though they knew what we didn't. To not trust the government. To not trust uh, nameless, faceless scientists that they keep throwing in your faces. 95% of which are paid by the government to answer exactly how they want them to? Our blood is now on their hands. No, thank you. I won't accept that. Absolutely not. Those are strong words, but the unvaccinated had access to important information about the potential side effects of vaccines. Not any more than anyone else did. This page left intentionally blank. They knew about the risks of se severe allergic reactions, blood clots, and other serious health complications. They knew that vaccines did not immunize us. They knew it was effective and that they can cause more harm than good. Yeah, you know who you needed to be talking to about this? Fauci and his ilk. Us unvaccinated just decided that we'd seen this before with this gentleman, this doctor, in the 80s. Um, and yeah, we weren't going to trust him again, you know, even as much as Trump pushed it, I'm sorry, you know, I like Trump, but that doesn't mean I like everything he says and it doesn't mean I'm going to follow him blindly. Not to mention the fact that never did see him get one. He claimed it a lot of times, but never did actually see him get one live. I might be mistaken. I might have missed it. There's so much information on there. But again, I never did see him get one of those live. Like Biden has done four times now. Like Kamala has done at least twice. Even though she said that the, the vaccine would change with the person who's in the White House. That was something that should have raised a few red flags. They knew all of that, but instead of warning us, the unvaccinated chose to remain silent. No, you forced us to remain silent. Anybody that came out against this thing was either censored, ratioed, uh, badgered, or hurt in some way. No, 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 no. So, yeah, <laughs> like I say, Parody or not, and this doesn't sound like parody to me. Does it to you? I mean, not even the Babylon Bee would have come up with this, but we also know the Babylon Bee is the master of parody. But this is gruesome. They chose to look the other way and not speak out about the potential dangers of vaccines. That's bullshit. 
they let millions of good folks who did the right thing at the time, in parentheses, at the time. And why? Why was it the right thing? Because the talking heads were telling you to do it? Because Dr. Fauci was telling you to do it? Because Trump was telling you to do it? Fall to death and disease. And many anti-vaxxers even gloated online about how their coin flip had been the right bet. Nobody flipped a coin over this. Nobody flipped any coins over this. Again, this, whatever this is, whoever these people are that are writing this have a lot of nerve. Especially since I see no one's names on here. No one has a byline on this particular website. But it's still out there. In fact, like I said, this particular article went viral. The more diabolical even urged folks to, that they disagree with to get boosted. I know your side kept telling us that over and over and over again, even though we said no. It has become all too clear the silence of the unvaccinated was a dangerous, psychopathic and irresponsible decision that has had serious consequences for those of us who received the vaccinations. That sounds like a you problem. Not to mention the fact, like I say, a lot of people didn't want it, but they had to take it to keep their jobs so they could feed their families. They were coerced into this stuff. It was mandated in the federal government. In fact, I'm still seeing people walking around with masks and things like that. Biden has pushed it and pushed it and pushed it, but I noticed that he doesn't, hasn't mandated it anymore. And of course, you've got all of this proof coming out now of people just falling over while they're doing very extra healthy things. Some of the most healthy people on the planet. And silence is, after all, consent. Okay, so is it consent or is it violence? They can't seem to make up their mind with this shit. Now, there's a related there's a related article to this. Related, how do we prevent discrimination against the vaccinated? Seriously? Again, it sounds like parody. But again, there's nothing on here explaining that it's parody at all, which actually is not a good thing, especially for the mis and disinformation that everybody seems to be screaming about. I'm going to read on and then I'll show you the other, the other article real quick. It's time for the unvaccinated to take responsibility for their actions and to work with the rest of us to find a solution to this crisis. You know what that tells me? You know what I hear when I see that, when I, when I see that sentence, when I read that sentence that says, you guys need to still come over to our side and get the vaccination. You know, we're not playing with y'all. You guys didn't warn us about this stuff, but you still have to take this vaccination. And that's what I've been hearing from everybody. They've, they're doubling and tripling and quadrupling down on it, even though all of this other stuff is coming out from the CDC and the WHO. I probably have one of those little bars underneath me on that by now if I'm on YouTube. We cannot afford to let their selfishness and lack of action continue to harm our communities. It's time for the unvaccinated to step up and do the right thing. Which would be what? And you know, because of the fact that we didn't want vaccinations in the first place, you called us selfish and lack of action then. Oh, you're going to kill grandma. You don't care about your kids. You don't give a shit about anybody else. And they keep telling you, this isn't just for you. This is for everyone else. Screw them. They get to do what they want to do. And so do I. And like I say, this is absolute unadulterated hogwash. And the fact that there's nothing on it anywhere that says anything about being a parody. And again, like I said, parody or not, someone had to write this. Someone had to come up with this shit. So even if they're a troll, they have a lot of nerve. Somebody has a lot of nerve. The unvaccinated should by any moral measuring stick have done more to warn about the potential risks. Hey man, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You can lead a Democrat or whoever these people are, these vaxxers are, to the truth. But you can't make them listen. And what was I supposed to do? Stick my hand in front of the needle? I don't think so. 
This was a you choice, whoever you are. The unvaccinated should by any moral measure, measuring stick have done more to warn about the potential risks to help us make informed decisions about our health. You guys didn't want any information. <laughs> you guys didn't want any information. You didn't care. Like I said before, you shunned people and censored them if they mentioned this to you. Or you told them that they were conspiracy theorists. Or you told them that they their their opinion didn't matter and their and their health didn't matter anymore either. You can't, you know, you shouldn't get to go to doctors or anything like that. Even Jimmy Kimmel got on there and said, oh yeah, if you got a heart attack and you've had the vaccination, welcome. If you had a heart attack and you decided to be selfish or you gobbled down horse paste, R.I.P. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Wheezy. <laughs> actually you've done that and they must now ask us for our forgiveness fuck you fuck you this is the same thing as this this is the same thing as you wanting amnesty because of the fact that what how you treated us beforehand now you're going to turn it around and make us look like the bad guys like we didn't do anything good enough it's never good enough they're they, if this particular thing doesn't piss you off and my problem is not necessarily who wrote it. Like I say, they got a lot of nerve and I have the right to say that about them. My biggest problem is, is that with all of this bullshit about this misinformation that they're screaming and yelling about, a lot of people are believing this. Now there's a lot of people that aren't believing this also, but there are a lot of people that are believing that this was good. This should be what happens. Like I say, they believed at the time that we we, we shouldn't get any kind of uh, medical coverage or medical assistance if we are unvaccinated and have some other kind of problem in the hospital, including COVID. I don't want them sitting next to me in the theater. I don't want them standing next to me at the theater bar. I don't want them next to me or anywhere near me or even in the same carriage on the train. They can exercise their freedom by staying at home. If you decide that you don't want a vaccine or a booster, then you can decide not to go to hospital however ill you get. We need to make it clear to them that the vaccine is the ticket back to pre-pandemic life. People who refuse to accept vaccines, I think the right response for them is not to force them to, but rather to insist that they be isolated. Giving up your human rights is, is justifiable. It's justifiable to take away a person's bodily autonomy when you have a global pandemic. Those who haven't had jabs but could have jabs need to have a badge saying unjabbed. Really? Uh, yeah. We just have to make people understand that, you know, no jab, no life. And, and that's how it is. And hand to heart, we may just give it to them. I don't give a shit if you forgive me or not. I really don't. And I know that most of the people that follow us right now, follow me right now, don't give a shit whether you forgive us or not either. Because we are good people. We took those injections because it was the right thing to do until it wasn't. Okay, so we knew that all along. And of course, the comments on this, because it actually has been ratioed, sorry, commenting has been disabled. While 85% of you are wonderful people and we'd love to hear from you, quote unquote, feel free to reach out at contact at IQFY.com or our IQ, our, our I, at Q, whatever it is on Twitter. The, only, the other 25% of recent comments have tended to be the result of targeted troll storms. Abuse from this vocal minority has traumatized our moderators and caused harm to the community. Really, like this article is not going to cause harm to the unvaccinated again, yet again from people like you. But you know what? Go get your boosters, my friend. Go get your boosters. Then they have enough nerve to come out with this one as well. Society and culture. They're turning this into society and culture. Like I say, these are the only two articles I've looked at from this IQFY. 
I, I recommend you stay away from it. It's bullshit. It's complete bullshit. It's turning things around. It's making people... It's it, Again, it's trying to force the innocent to comply with the, with the intention of them forgiving us. Like, we give a fuck about their forgiveness. How do we prevent discrimination against the vaccinated? Gee, I don't know. I don't know if I want to prevent any discrimination from the vaccinated. Do you know why? Because there isn't any. There hasn't been any. In fact, even the unvaccinated are like, hey man, you do you. But just don't force me to do it. They're not discriminating against anybody. In fact, I have a phone call. I have a caller that calls me every week who's vaccinated. None of my listeners, none of anybody that I've ever talked to has ever shunned her for anything. They've warned her against a few things that she's asked questions about. But no one has ever told her or made her feel any less because she's vaccinated. So this is crap. They trusted the science because of their bravery. They survived COVID. Now experts are sounding the alarm about an emerging new threat vector. A virulent hate movement targeting vaccinated folks. Once again, this is not the misinformation that you're looking for. As the world begins to recover from the devastating effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, experts are sounding the alarm about an emerging new threat vector, an actual hate movement targeting vaccinated folks. In unmoderated and far-right extremist havens like 4chan and Rumble, anti-vaxxers calling themselves purebloods are now openly flaunting their hatred towards those who took the shot by gloating about their supposed early vaccine-related deaths. A totally debunked conspiracy theory heavily adjacent to Q beliefs. This tells me right here, this person doesn't read Q. This person doesn't read Q. In fact, there's no... There, there's there's no references on any of these articles. There, you know, at least the ones that I showed you the other day, I told you where showed you where they came from. They take a little snippet, usually from somewhere else. This person is literally making shit up. So, or whoever it is that writes these things for IQFY, no transparency on this website whatsoever, and their shit is literally going viral. Yet everybody has the nerve to talk about this. Disinformation. 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 Period. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming. Some media outlets publish the same thing without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Thank you so much for being here with me. Don't forget, Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time, the Talk To Me America show where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Also, don't forget to support the channel. My Goal is to grow and add two more streaming services to my account, if I can do that, so that I can be more um, available to everyone. I know everyone likes different platforms to watch their live videos on, as far as that goes. Plus, I'm also trying to reach out to more people. We need to get more phone calls. We This, this is your show, so make sure to give us, give us a ring on Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Time. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Peace, love, health, and music to all of you. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time. AMF. Yeah.